What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Pokemon Stadium 1, Part 26, Round 2, Gym Leader Castle, Koga. Let's do this. So we just defeated the four women of Erica's gym, and uh, this time we're taking on four random, pretty sketchy looking guys. I wouldn't run one into that biker, that tamer. I don't know, I might be entertained by that juggler, but holy Christ, look at this guy's team. What is this? I don't even... I don't even... I don't even know what this is sometimes. But, uh, we'll see how this goes, I guess. An easy victory should be within reach. I don't know, this guy's got a buttload of good psychic types. This could be a problem. Anyway, this guy's going to lead with Electabuzz. We're leading with Derry here. We're just going to go for the dig. And uh, hopefully this will work out. He is going to go for the substitute. And that is just not good. Substitute obviously going to break. And uh, he's going to go for the toxic. And that's, a, that's not a bad strategy. And, uh, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to straight up go for the Fire Blast here. I can't waste a turn on Dig. Otherwise, he's just going to keep substituting. So we will hit that Fire Blast, and that will do a buttload of damage. Unfortunately, I think he's going to have enough HP to make another substitute. But he's actually going to go for Metronome. And that's going to do literally nothing. I don't even think my HP bar moved there. Obviously it did, but I don't think so. Anyway, hopefully this will hit and won't miss. I probably should have gone for Double Edge, but luckily it just hits, so that's good. So I will luckily not take any damage from Poison, because I was able to take the guy out. And Derry is looking good. But here comes Mr. Mime, and this could be a, this could be a problem, is what I'm trying to say here. And again, we're just going to go for the Fire Blast. And that's going to do a huge amount of damage, and that's going to bring it down in one hit. That critical, very critical. And uh, that poor Mr. Mime never really had a chance there. This guy's last Pokemon is Electrode. I don't know if I'll be able to live if I go for Dig here, but uh, we'll see. It's going to go for Mimic. And that thing definitely just learned Fire Blast, and that, that could be a problem. Anyway, we go for the dig there, and we're going to take uh, some decent poison damage. But, uh... Wow, it has Substitute. So, this is just not working out my plans here. And now I'm going to take even more damage from poison. And I'm going to go for the double edge here, because I know Electro doesn't really have any, uh, any what's it called, defense. So I go for the uh, double edge there, and he actually doesn't take any damage, so I'm not going to take any recoil, which is nice. But it looks like he's going to keep going for substitute, and just wear me down with the poison. And uh, that is actually not a bad idea on his part there. And I'm nearly dead to poison. We'll see if he's able to go for another substitute. Now he's going to go for fire blast this time. And that looks hilarious. It just like comes out of his head. And unfortunately, uh, Derry just can't continue. And uh, But we are going to go into excellent. And Excellent is looking pretty good right now. And the Seismic Toss will obviously be able to bring that thing down. It is going to go for Thunder Wave, so this thing does still have a chance to win. But now it doesn't. And there you go, the first trainer already taking a buttload of time. Absolutely ridiculous.
To be fair, though, he did have Substitute. Which is, like, the biggest stalling move in the game. Anyway, this guy... Jesus, look at these teams. I don't even know what to say about this. Second adversary. It's kind of funny. We do need to just stay calm. Anyway, this guy's going to send out a champ here, and this could be a problem. But uh, I'm just going to go for the T-Bolt. And we'll see how much that does. It's going to do uh, a little, little less than half. That thing is going to hit me with a karate chop to the face. That's going to do a decent chunk of damage there. It is a critical. I don't think karate chop is a guaranteed critical. I know it has an increased critical chance, but I don't think it's guaranteed. It's not like Razor Leaf and Slash, which are always critical. But obviously I'm full of shit since he critical hit me again there. And uh, Solomon not looking good here. Obviously he'll take him out, but... He took a lot of damage here. The next Pokemon will be... Scyther! Scyther is a bug flying type. So this should be super effective. If I'm not mistaken. And that is going to one shot that Scyther. So that's very nice. Very nice. The last Pokemon is a Sand Slash. I figure it will be able to live a Surf, but, you know. I've got two other Pokemon in reserve, so I'm not really too worried. And it's just going to go for the Slash. And that is definitely going to critical me. Seems that this trainer is all about the criticals. Anyway, we're bringing Billy out. Billy, he's usually the guy to clean this shit up. And, uh... See if we can wash this guy away. Here comes the slash. That will definitely critical. The Billy's like whatever. And boom. And that's gonna do it for uh, the second trainer. This guy's using some really good Pokemon. This is... Shit's getting crazy already. Anyway, here we go with Trainer 3. And this guy actually has some poison types. So this could be an issue. We'll see. So anyway, here comes Tentacruel, and I'm hoping it doesn't have Wrap, because that would be gay as shit. It's actually going to go for Toxic. I would definitely not be surprised if this thing had Wrap now. I should have gone for the Paralyze on this turn, actually. Now that I think about it. Because here comes the Wrap. And unfortunately, I'm going to take poison damage every turn that I'm wrapped. So that is a great strategy on this guy's part. But uh, we will be free switching into poker. I should have gone for the paralyzed. That was really stupid of me to not do that. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. I was hoping it would miss, but it didn't. So, oh well. Anyway, let's just go for the earthquake. Oh, it's going to switch out. He becomes wheezing. And 
and uh, we're just going to go for Earthquake. Because that is definitely going to do at least half. And I guess this guy thought that I didn't have anything for him, but I definitely... Remember, this, this Aerodactyl is from Blue Kaizo, so it does have Earthquake and Rock Slide. And that's going to do it for Weezing. It is Jinx. Jinx is the next Pokemon. This could be a problem. Again, I do have the Rock Slide, so this should take it out if it hits. It definitely does hit. And that Jinx is just like, what the hell? Again, its last Pokemon is Tentacruel. And uh, we know this thing has wrap. Luckily, I am faster than it, so... This thing is going to be in trouble. And that's going to do a huge amount of damage. It will be able to live, so I'm feeling a Surf. But it actually goes for Supersonic. So its moves are Supersonic, Toxic, and Wrap. I would guess it has Surf as well, maybe? And I'm just going to smack myself in the face. And uh, Aerodactyl, that is not what we need. Oh, it's, a it's it got acid. Oh, yeah. That's got a critical hit, and that's not going to do anything. So this thing literally has no chance of winning. And that's pretty funny. Anyway, Aerodactyl continues to smack itself in the face. For some reason. I'm surprised it didn't go for Toxic. I would think that Toxic would be better than Acid. But it continues to critical hit with Acid. Although it is not very effective, so I'm not really too worried. But, uh, Aerodactyl, I'm going to need you to not smack yourself in the face. Thank you for shaking off your confusion. I appreciate it. And down goes Tentacruel. Let's see what kind of team Koga has. You know, it seems that the gym leaders are actually easier than the regular trainers because regular trainers have more, you know, variety of Pokemon. While the gym leaders are still using like three to four of their type. So that's kind of poor game design, but whatever. I'm not going to question it. Let's see what Koga has. Koga. Yeah, see, he's got like three poison types. That's bad. So here we go. Got to be careful of that Hypno. Keep an eye on that. We're going to leave with Nidoking, the Horny here. We haven't seen Horny in a while. And, of course, it is an awful lead with me. So we're going to have to switch out right away here. I don't really want to take a Psychic. So we're definitely going to change Pokemon. And that Pokemon was definitely not the right choice. So we go out into Billy. And uh, here comes the Psychic. That is definitely not very effective. And Billy's like, whoa, what's going on? Anyway, we're going to go for the T-Wave right away here. Slow this thing down. Somehow I'm faster. I didn't realize Hypno was so slow. But it's actually going for Counter, which is kind of funny. I figured that might have been the reason it did that. Either way, I am going to be going first now. But he's actually changing Pokemon now. And here comes Parasect. And that is not something I wanted to see. And I'm going to go for T-Wave here just in case this thing has Spore. Because if it does, that could be a big problem. Luckily, it is fully paralyzed and has no idea what's going on. And we're just going to start blasting Psychics here. We've got the plus two special, so this should do a decent chunk. Its special stat is definitely down. And it continues to be fully paralyzed. I'm going to take this opportunity to go for another Amnesia. And get my special nearly maxed. It is still fully paralyzed, which is quite hilarious. And this could be a problem for Koga. 
And here comes the Psychic, and that will obviously bring that thing down with a critical hit, too. That is just going to do a buttload of damage. And I'm pretty sure at this point, Billy will be able to one-shot anything that comes in, even Hypno. I'm pretty certain Surf should take it out. We'll see. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, it's going to live. It is going to live. And here comes a Psychic. And that literally did like five damage there. Amnesia raises four stats at once. That is just so amazing. The nasty plot of its time. And its last Pokemon is Venomoth, which is hilarious. So unless this has something that can take me out or prevent me from attacking this turn, it's going to be over. It does have something that can prevent me from attacking. And I am getting paralyzed from that. And I'm actually going to be fully paralyzed now. So this could be a problem. Oh, shit! And that's going to do a decent chunk of damage. But uh, I would have to be paralyzed like six turns in a row in order for this guy to claim victory. And that's just not going to happen. And Venomoth is out of here. And that's going to do it for Koga. So, uh, there you go. Got that accomplished. And that is a future gym battle clear. And uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the key from Koga and move on to what could be the hardest gym, Sabrina. So I will see you guys next time when we take on Sabrina. See you guys then.